Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video. In this video, I will give you more information about the top 5 best chainsaws that are available on the market. In fact I try to make acceptance, multiplication, cost, stability, user opinion etc. If you requirement more information about this products please check the link explanation below. Subscribe this channel to see more upcoming future videos. Let's start this videos. Starting at number 5, we have Ryobi Rai 3716. Easy to start and maintain. This 37cc gas-powered Ryobi chainsaw is a mid-sized workhorse. It is well balanced, not too heavy, and easy to maneuver through branches and brush without getting hung up. In terms of cutting ability, it made it through all your tests without much trouble. There were a few times it noticeably slowed down through some of the harder woods due to its somewhat lower powered engine, but it finished everything with some help. The Ryobi Rai 3716 also comes standard with a valuable safety feature, particularly for inexperienced users. Tip guards prevent you from being able to cut with the very tip of the blade, which is where the ever dangerous kickback comes from. If you're confident and comfortable with safely using the tip of the blade, the tip guard is easily removable. Moving on at number 4, we have Echo CS400. In a crowded field of quality options, the Echo 400 really stands out. A pro-grade, 40cc chainsaw, it was powerful and heavy-duty enough to cut easily through everything you put in front of it. The 18-inch bar makes tackling large projects so much easier. The power and extra bar size give it a bit more weight than some of the other contenders but during testing it was still maneuverable enough to trim branches and clear brush out of the way as you moved through the woods. All of the chainsaws they tested cut up pine firewood easily enough, but it was in your small slice test that the Echo really stood apart. At number 3, we have Makita XCU 3 PT1. With a 14-inch guide bar and 36 volts of power, the Makita XCU 3 PTI chainsaw is one of the smaller saws that they tested in either category. This said, it performed well in all of your tests. It is able to cut through hardwoods of appropriate size, albeit a bit more slowly than some of the others, and has no issue bucking pine firewood. Its low weight makes it easy to maneuver through brush, and it is quiet and comfortable to use. And even at the lower size range, it has the important kickback chain break. The Makita XCU03 PTI saw has a few unique features. Firstly, it is part of the overall Makita battery system, which means that rather than having one massive battery like the others, the Makita chainsaw holds two 18 volts batteries. These are the same batteries that Makita's drills, circular saws, reciprocating saws and other tools use. At number 2, we have Husqvarna 435E2. Husqvarna is one of the most highly recognized chainsaw brands. Unfortunately, Husqvarna's 435 is the only saw that you had actual problems with. Out of the box, you simply couldn't get it to start and stay running. When you was finally able to coax it into running for a few minutes, it didn't cut consistently. Its chain kept starting and stopping as you was cutting. Knowing the reputation of the brand, you did a little research and maintenance, and found that adjusting the carburetor got it going. Once you got it running, it ran fine, and performed as well as the other saws in your tests. And finally at number 1. Ryobi Rai 40530. The Ryobi Rai 40530 is one of the smaller saws you tested, and it is priced to reflect that. Like other small saws, this one performs well within its weight class, completing all of your tasks, even if it took a little bit more time to do so. To be clear, you would not want to spend all day bucking firewood with this saw, but it's got plenty of juice to cut up fallen branches or smaller trees. Your disappointment with this saw is the lack of a kickback chain break in front of the handle, an important safety feature in preventing injuries.